For the balance of the afternoon and into the evening on the day that we departed Port Tampa, Ava and I had a nice and relaxing time. We took naps, got our stateroom in order, and had a gentle evening. The next day we would have our very first sea day where we hung out by the pool, read our books, and even participated in some of the raffles Carnival had on board. And as you can see, Ava was one of the winners. For the rest of the afternoon, we explored some of the ship. We wanted to plan out what we would like to do on the next sea day that we knew that would be coming up uh, towards the end of the week. That night, we had our very first formal night. Ava and I got a little bit dressed up. Uh, we had some fun with our fancy dresses and shoes and makeup and hair, and we just had a really nice evening and a nice dinner uh, to top off the very first full day on Carnival as we prepared for the next day to dock into Mahogany Bay, Honduras. Let's get off this boat and explore the island. Oh, look, I just about pooped myself. Yeah, but I almost ran into it. It's an iguana. Yes, I just about pooped myself and I edited what I said on camera because I'm trying not to be. Uh...
Probably, a little, probably was a fountain. the port area and the local beaches, we're now on our way to the chocolate experience at Carambola Gardens. It's about a 30 minute drive into the city where we'll spend about three and a half to four hours learning how to make chocolate.
We have arrived at Carambola Gardens and it's time to learn how to make some chocolate. It's a big spider. Stops and use it as building material.
spiral like that and I feel something touch my shoulder. After enjoying a beautiful lunch prepared for us by the wonderful people of the Carambola Gardens, we're on our way back to board the cruise ship. Once we arrived back to the port before we board the ship, we had the opportunity to buy some Wi-Fi and FaceTime our family. We had a wonderful time in Mahogany Bay. The people were wonderful, the island is beautiful, and the food was absolutely delicious. It's time to say goodbye, get back onto the ship, and head towards Mexico for a next stop. No matter how many sunrises I see, no matter how many sunsets I witness. No matter the oceans or the lakes or the mountains or the valleys that I get to explore, I'll never take for granted the beauty that the earth offers to each and every one of us if we're only willing to look. time to relax, read our favorite books, and have a stateroom spa night for a little bit of pampering as we prepare to dock in Mexico for the next morning. On the fourth day of our cruise, we arrive in Cozumel, Mexico, where we have an amazing adventure planned, an excursion that will take us swimming in cenotes, snorkeling in the lagoon, and relaxing and having a beautiful lunch on a private beach. To get there though, after we dock in Cozumel, we have to take a ferry for about 45 minutes to one of the neighboring islands. Once we get there, we have about a 30 minute drive further inland to get to our very first destination point on our excursion, and that is swimming in the cenotes. How do you feel? Good. Good. Yeah. How, are you, how are you doing today? Good? Very good. good. Yeah. Do you have energy? Yep. Yeah. Do you have a good attitude? Yeah. Yes. yes. All right. Because remember, <clears throat> we all spend time together. And of course, I need from you good attitude and a lot of a lot of energy because it's going to be an intensive tour. Yeah. When do we start? We never stop. Okay? So don't forget my job here is that you have a good time, that you have uh, good memories and at the same time that you learn something cool from Mexico and from the Mayan civilization. Yeah, because believe it or not, we are...
It's cold. <laughs> it's freezing. It's more cold after you get It's just like the last you get No, thanks. <laughs> Maybe when we get up there and I'm not freezing. <laughs> Thank you, though. the water okay at three head into the water at three one two three oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Me, you will do much better oh. Please, I, this is not a joke this is for sure in this moment hello hi hello. mom i'm on tv mom <laughs> look here we have limestone everywhere all oh. this announcement is limestone full limestone and you see from the other that we have formations and stuff. And here, you see the tiny hole with the black stuff up over there? Yeah. Well, what is that? Are fruit bats. So we call them, we call them like that. You can't see. Are fruits, but I think you don't they eat both kiddos and bugs. So they are fruit bats. This one? And probably you say scissors, so they, we are we are swimming in one of because the, the bats are pooping in the water. Yeah. Well, no, technically no. Oh, there is. Um, yeah, but I don't think I do that. But it's only taller than I am. Okay. 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 <laughs> you guys want to go? Sorry. Oh, really? If you're staying in the picture, that's fine. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm just, I'm just trying not to separate you guys. Don't run into I'm going to try not to. Why did we get that? I'm kind of stuck here. Okay. Open, everybody agree? Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Now, good try, but it's not. This one still being a clear semi-open. When it's a semi-open, it's because they have just one half. Hey, Logan. When one half collapses, that is a semi-open. When all the roofs, all the roofs collapse, it's going to be open. And this one is still being a closed one. And they have to be able to do that. Yes, of course. So we don't have a plant or palm trees or green color here. Oh, because there's no... Yes. Oh, we have some, but a little bit, but it's not enough. Yeah, basically, we don't have the photosynthesis process. So no sunlight, no photosynthesis, no green color, no plants, no trees. But this one is still being a perfect ecosystem. Because you see... We Seashells everywhere. 
basically here because look at that. Yeah. In this moment, we are in front of this dead colored rig. This is a dead colored rig. Can you imagine? I will explain you why. Basically That's here true. because we have the evidence here. Do you see the seashells? They got stuck in the drops, right? And do you see the little things uh, yes, oh, hanging out on the, on the, on the, on the roof? Can you tell me what is those? Spiderwebs. Yes, spiderwebs. Oh, this is my <coughs> here. They look pretty. They have one when they Everybody saw the, uh, the seashells? Yes. Are the spiderwebs everywhere? Do you like spiders? You say yes, right? No. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, those go for those are these ones are sp uh, younger spiders. Apparently <laughs> regretting this <laughs> cave tour. Who's the last one? My mom. Do we still have 12? Yeah? Do we still have 12? Come on, chicken. You can do it. <laughs> hey, uh, you're here. Nice. Okay, my team, listen to me. Right here. Uh, if you notice here, in this moment, we have the privilege to visit the cenotes. So this second gallery is an amazing place because uh, the Mayan people, they believe these places are holy places, sacred places. Yeah, so uh, as I told you before, we are Mayan land. And well, in this, um, in this part of Mexico, we're still doing the, the ceremonies, we're still doing the traditions. Yeah, that is cool because the Mayan culture is still alive. Swimming and exploring the cenote was absolutely a magical experience. Also a little bit scary and creepy because I'm a little bit claustrophobic and may have watched too many scary movies. But now we are off to snorkel in the nearby lagoon.
The only thing we regret is that we wish we had a little bit more time to explore. But even so, we built up quite the appetite and we're looking forward to going to the private beach club to enjoy tacos. Now we're back on the ferry, heading towards the cruise ship as we prepare to say goodbye to Mexico. As the sun prepares to set, on another glorious day, we take this opportunity to be thankful for the privilege of being able to explore a little part of Mexico. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe to follow us on more of our adventures. And until next time, I hope you have a magical day filled with love, laughter, peace, and joy. And remember, live life courageously.